In today's You Ask, I Answer, Judy asks, how do you get the red circle around your profile picture on LinkedIn? Uh, the red profile circle, it's a neat human trick I learned a while back. I like it because it sets your profile photo apart in the feed, and the red is exactly the same color as the notification icons. It's eye-catching as you scroll through. Here's an example. As you're scrolling through, you'll see there's my profile picture, uh, and there's some other profile photos, and then that, there's that one that has that red circle around that. Now, this is not a feature that's built into LinkedIn. This is simply something that you have to do separately. So let's go through how to do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, and you're going to need... You don't really need any fancy software like Photoshop or anything. A, a regular uh, slide deck uh, software will do. Uh, you will need a profile picture of some kind, so find a profile picture that works really well for you. I'll use uh, this one here. And what you're going to want to do is shrink that down to a reasonable size. Let's see if we can make this uh, fit this on screen here. Like so center that and now we're going to take a shape a nice circle with the circle what we're going to do is we're going to have no fill on the circle but we're going to set a a border we're going to set the the border thickness to something crazy like 96 point and we're going to set the color to that fire engine red that big 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 red color and just bring this around like so Let's actually make that border even thicker. Let's go 255. Okay, at 100, that's good enough, I guess. And just make it, just tighten it up a little bit. With your software, you can, most, all slide software has the ability to center, like so. And then we're going to export this as an image. Now, uh, obviously, if you're using uh, Microsoft PowerPoint or whatever, uh, You'll have different settings. This is uh, Keynote on the Mac. We'll save this. And now we should have our profile picture right on our desktop. So let's switch back to our browser. Go ahead and click on your uh, profile photo. Find the picture you just created, the slide. And you'll notice now that uh, you can zoom in. And what you want is just a nice thin layer. See how I've zoomed in around to, to not get as much of that red border. It looks good. It's even on all sides. We apply it. Hit save. And now we got that nice uh, red border around the profile photo. So that's the process. It's super easy to do. Uh, it works on... Uh, most social networks that have a circle as the profile photo. So LinkedIn always crops to a circle. Um, Facebook, uh, for its profile photos, crops to a circle. So you can do this on Facebook. Twitter is different. Twitter has a square, uh, sometimes in a circle, other times. So it will look a little bit off if you do it. If you, uh, if you don't mind that, um, for Twitter, what you'd want to do, because the, the background is a square there, is you would want to uh, create at that same color as a red square. Send that to the back. And then take that circle, have a color fill that is white. And then send that backwards. Send the all the way back. And uh, you, you'll have to crop out or, ma or make a transparent your background here. So uh, some software allows you to do what's called an alpha, where you can mask out uh, the background. And that would allow you to pass through and basically have, uh, let's see if we can do this here, edit mask, uh, instant alpha. There we go. And so you would save this whole thing as a, your profile picture and then have the square uh, it would be essentially be a red you know a red circle inside of a square it's kind of a very james bond look uh, if you remember the old bond films the uh, the openings to them uh, so that's how you do that for twitter uh, but do this for any social network where there's the icon is cropped to a circle and you'll get that nice red circle around it that is again very eye-catching it takes advantage of two things it takes advantage of the fact that um for I wouldn't use it, by the way, with a corporate logo. I'd use it with an actual face because human beings are keyed 
biologically to we've evolved to to lock onto a human face first and then secondarily that red circle gives us the ability to uh to look like a notification so that's how i do that again uh, if you, if it's off brand if it, if you don't like that color if you want to have it be a different color obviously just change it to whatever color you like so, um the other thing i do like about doing that is desaturating your photo so if your photo is a color photo you might be okay um you might want to think about making it a black and white photo it sets the contrast off a little bit more so give that a try play with it see if you like it and if you do like it then roll it out to every social network where you feel it's appropriate but again on linkedin you get those nice red notification icons and it, it matches up really well so uh, thanks for the great question judy i uh, hope this was helpful as always please subscribe to the youtube channel and to the email newsletter and we'll talk to you soon take care if you want help with your company's data and analytics visit braintrustinsights.com today and let us know how we can help you